Welcome back to World of Tanks with the Captain. Today I've got a couple of replays that I knocked out here. And then you can see I'm running my Panther until it's fully upgraded because it has the small term turret and the goofy clown gun. But unfortunately, the goofy clown gun is the gun to use on this tank because the L70, while it's great at tier 5 and tier 6, when you have to fight tier 9 tanks, it's not quite as good. So, I'm going to head up through the village. I have a comet to my right. And everyone else seems to have gone to the town. I maybe have a T-3045 here and a VK scout tank who's watching the tracks so gotta be pretty careful here and I take a shot the moving chromo was going pretty quick here and I missed so I hit him on the go and there's a big pile of rocks here I missed my shot again get another shot into the Cromwell and I'm not taking any shots from everyone else so I'm gonna try and engage this guy and he gets killed it's taken up by mystics in this comet. So that was a suicide run, it looked like. He didn't even shoot at me, really. <laughs> this is my favorite map to, to play with the Panther on, simply because there's... I don't know. It, the city aspect of it kind of throws it off a bit. And the sight lines are all kind of jumbled all over the place. Like I can watch the tracks and I can watch the field a bit, but it's just not my favorite map. There's no higher vantage points to really shoot at people from. And now I'm being engaged by a Type 59, which is a very dangerous tank. So I take a shot from him, give him a shot back. And unfortunately for him, he's got a building in front of him, so I get another shot into him. I'm reversing, shoot him again. This is where my pen starts working and I get help from my comet friend. So I'm going to keep shooting this guy. And now we're going to out DPM this guy because there's nothing he can really do when a comet and a panther are shooting at him. I <laughs> made the mistake of shooting at his turret there. So that's some great help from my squad mate. Took him out. And now we've got a VK here. And I thought I could hit him through that wall, but that didn't work. And again, shoot a guy in a transmission, sets him on fire. Totally realistic. Sorry, little VK. That VK Panther is my favorite tier 6 tank. I love that tank so much. It's really what this tank should look like. This tank should be the tier 6 tank. But instead, they gave it the Panther II's turret and the Dopey gun. So things are looking pretty okay on this side. I got shots at this ARL, so I'm going to shoot him. And that one missed. He takes out our SU-100. But I'm able to plug him right through his turret. Because the ARL's turret is not particularly that strong. Things in the town aren't looking great. We're down two tanks. I'm going to go and try and help the KV-4. Because I don't really want to lose the KV-4 at this point. So I pull over into here. And I'm going to get some side shots. The T-29. And I thought I was going to be able to track him there. But that didn't happen. But that was enough to help finish him off. And now we're losing <laughs> 9 to 11. And I'm about half half health at this point. And I spot this SU-100 here. Take a big hit from him. And I'm going to just try and out-DPM him. Track him. Say goodnight. Okay, so I have to be fairly careful now. KV-1S isn't concentrating on me, so I pull out, secure him, and now we've got an E-25 that's snuck around, and he shoots me, and he 
shoots me again. And I actually managed to bounce something there. So now is the end of him. So now I'm up to four kills and things are looking immediately better. <laughs> so in a very short span of time, we went from losing to winning 14 to 11. And no one shot me in the lower plate except for that one sort of shot right there, which is very surprising. So now we just got to search out this IS and get him, wherever he happens to be. Oh, there he is. So I'm going to try and keep my distance from him, because I'm better far away, far, 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 as far as can be. And I missed that shot, but hopefully I won't miss this one. Put that shot into him there, start moving around a little bit. Now I'm going to aim for him here. And a shot from the Comet at me finishes him out. <laughs> so that was a pretty close game. I was 54 hit points from death. And my my team actually here uh, of me and uh, the Panther and the IS, we ended up securing eight of the team enemy team's deaths. So I got five. Mystics got three. Not a bad game. 2677 damage, 27 shots out, 20 pens, 22 of them hit. Most of the time this thing pens what it shoots at, and I was getting a lot of side shots. So that was also quite nice. So do another replay here of Ensk. You can see Centurion in action. And we're back on Ensk again. This time I'm in my tier 8 Centurion. Fortunately, I'm in a tier 10 game. So I gotta be very, very, very careful with how I play. <laughs> so initially, I just decide that I'm gonna cover down the 6th line. If anything tries to come up here, I'm gonna shoot it, and then I'm gonna pull forward and get in cover behind the buildings. So I'm just chilling. Not much going on here. Centurion. Such a beautiful tank. I love this tank. I've actually just rebought my Churchill 7. I've decided I'm going to go and get the Black Prince, and then I'm going to get the Carnarvon and the Conqueror. I'm going to see how they do. The Carnarvon kind of seems like it's a. Uh, Centurion with better armor because it has the same turret basically and the same guns. I think it just shoots a little bit quicker. So it'll be pretty interesting to see how the Carnarvon contrasts the Centurion. I have shot at them before, even with my IS-3s and sometimes like they'll bounce stuff that you don't expect them to. It's kind of surprising. So I come up on the side of this 113 and put a nice heavy shot into him and he's not looking at me so I'm going to shoot him again and now he's looking at me <laughs> now I've got his attention I'm going to really reload before him so got another solid shot into him so we've reduced a tier 10 down by at least 700 hit points ish which is always good and I've got a really nice flanking position here. These guys are going to worry about the tanks to their front. So this is going to give me an opportunity to be able to push up and get shots into here. But I don't have a really good effective shot where I am currently. So I'm going to pull forward a little bit. And see that uh, I've got a canard in there. And he's shooting at that T-44. So I'm just going to be fairly careful here. I'm going to pop out and put a nice solid shot into that T-34. And I saw 200 damage at tier 8. Most tanks at tier 8 laugh at the damage the Centurion puts out. So you gotta shoot a lot of times sometimes to do the damage that you should be doing. So 
my weight. Maybe they're not paying attention anymore. Turns out he was still paying attention. <laughs> and I'm going to get back out here and take a shot again because I know I reload before he does. And I get back into cover. So now he's a one shot. And I'm just going to wait for our T-34 to engage around the corner. And now there's another T-34 out here. And I don't know what the hell happened to that shot. I had a pretty good side shot on the T-34, but it didn't end up doing any damage to him. And this game was a pretty much a mega stomp. <laughs> I was able to go in and flank a lot of those tanks, which was really quite nice. Now I was going to try and shoot that T-32 to the left, but instead I switch targets and I'm going to shoot this T-34. So let's get him behind him. He's going to back up a little bit. Come on, back up. Maybe not. Nice, another low roll. And he's got a slow moving turret. So that's going to finish him out. Now it's time to move up and engage the Tiger 2 and the full health mouse. <laughs> A nice side shot into the Tiger 2, which actually was a pretty decent roll. Pretty decent because it was average. And secure the kill on the Tiger 2. And now there's only the mouse left. And. Pretty good. I can pen this out of a mouse. Not bad. <laughs> so that was a pretty good stomp out of our game. Uh, for a tier 10 game, it was actually done pretty good with damage. I was in the top third of the, the team on damage. I did about 25, 2600 to mostly the, the T-34s on the enemy team and that 113 and a little bit of damage to the Tiger and the Mouse. But uh, overall, that's, that's how I like games to go. <laughs> when I'm, uh, I'm not top tier. I'll play a little bit more defensive and flanking of just not head head strong on. Like you saw this ISU one five two. He was in this area here, and that's definitely not where you want to be with that tank. Like it's great to go up and dirt people once or twice, but then you're dead. And that's pretty much what happened to him. So I don't know. If I was that tank, I would much rather be back here, shooting down here, or shooting down here. We're trying to get side shots into this area through there, or maybe even in the field. So, all in all, some fun games on Ensk, and thanks for watching. See you later.